Hello, I'm Andrew Urban from My Urban Home Team and Keller Williams Realty. This video is about the quarter one 2022 market update. And it's a significant quarter because of some of the changes we have experienced year over year. So you'll see here. We begin with Southern Solano County. Those cities, Benicia, Fairfield, Sassoon and Vallejo, they're the core of the Southern Solano County. And you can see from the data that there's been some considerable changes or increases in, in the sales each month. But if you look at it compared to a year ago, these numbers a year ago are much different, much bigger than they are this year. 206 number of sold properties in Southern Solano County a year ago compared to 153. So it's, it's a little lower than uh, you can expect. We use this average price per square foot as a proxy for how the prices are changing. And it doesn't look like much, but this is actually significant. From March 2021 until March 2022, this represents a 17% increase in prices. That's a significant number when you think about uh, how prices are changing on the retail level in terms of goods and services. Here we've got 17% increase and that's one reason why we know that this area is becoming, housing is becoming much less affordable. When we're looking at um, the days on market, which is a really interesting thing to discuss with respect to how easy is it to get into contract, <clears throat> you'll see that we're only 23 days on market. That's a very low number compared to historically, we'd be in the 30s and 40s. Even last year we were 27. So we're, we're having, we're, the market is churning even more quickly this year than it did last year. The other really interesting thing is the amount of the, 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 the sold price to list price ratio. We're finding that people are offering more than 100% of the list price. In fact, on the average, 103 and 102%. And that's about the same as it was a year ago. So when you're looking at the list price of a property, don't think that you can buy the home for that price. It would be a very unusual. In order to win, you usually have to pay more than the list price. Now, when we look at the Kiwi knowledge, the the kind of thing that we would take away from this video. We know that interest rates are really rising this time. We've said that interest rates might be rising. Well, now we know interest rates are really rising and they are making, uh, they are bringing a significant shift in buyer demand. In other words, Solano County tends to be uh, the least expensive county in the nine Bay Area counties. So it is much more of a first time home buyer market. And <clears throat> those first time home buyers are finding that the increase in interest rates is really changing their ability to buy. So what, what's happening is that people are coming to Solano County to buy, but now even in Solano County, they're finding it, beginning to find it unaffordable. So that's a significant thing. And then of course the pandemic uh, we were hoping it was fading a year ago and we still keep on hoping that it's fading. And I think it's just important for us to continue to be vigilant about that. Now, when we're looking at the central Contra Costa County, these are significant numbers because we're talking about Concord, Martinez, Pleasant Hill and Walnut Creek. And <clears throat> of course, we're, as usual, only talking about single family homes. Now, this market is um, a much higher value market in the sense that the average price is much higher than Southern Solano County. But you can also see that this trend of the number of homes sold is um, still rising as the quarter ends. And actually it's a bit bigger. The number is a bit bigger than it was a year ago. Um, well, it's about the same as a matter of fact, 234 in March a year ago, 232 in March 2022. So the number of sales are about the same. 
um, what would be interesting is what's happening to the price per square foot. That is to say, what's happening to the average price here in central Contra Costa. And <clears throat> as we saw before in southern Solano County, the increase in price year over year from March 21 to March 22 is also 18%. And this means that home prices have increased on the average by 18% year over year. Clearly, this is an, an unsustainable kind of increase. Um, but at the moment, uh, my prediction would be that that's going to level out more as the year goes along. Now, let's look at what's happening with the days on market. You can see that there's a considerable decrease in the number of days that the house is on the market. So when you go and have a look and think, okay, let's see what's on the market. The reason why you can't find anything is because everything is on the market only nine days. It just churns over very quickly. And significantly, we're finding that the list to sold price ratio has increased 112 and 113% of list price. So if you think that you can buy a house for the list price, absolutely not. Look at this, on the average, you have to pay more than 13% of the list price. This is quite a bit higher than it was last year, where it was 109%. <clears throat> and you can tell that that kind of ratio increases as the year goes on, as the spring goes on. So we can expect this to probably increase also as the spring goes on in 2022. Now, if you're looking at Kiwi knowledge with respect to what do we take away from these numbers, we know that interest rates are rising and this is having probably not as big of an impact in central Contra Costa County as it does in other counties because the demographic of buyers in central Contra Costa is such that the average home price is, such, is so much higher that they're more likely to be able to afford to, to be able to live there even when interest, price, interest rates are rising. But there are also some, um, some changes in the buyer demand. And as prices become more, that is to say, less affordable, as prices become less affordable, we would find that, buy, that buyers are moving to East Contra Costa County or they're moving to Solano County because that's where those buyers can find more affordable homes. Again, the pandemic we hope is fading and we'll continue to be vigilant. But generally speaking, it is a very difficult market for buyers, has been for more than a year. It is still a great market for sellers. And I would say contact us if you would like some assistance on what to do next with respect to buying or selling. I'm Andrew Urban, My Urban Home Team. Thank you.